And we are going to head back to Detroit now and Justin Bachman, who is with the family's lawyers during Prosecutor Beckman's announcement. Justin. Hey guys, yeah, those demonstrations that we just saw from Jamal, those are things that have been part of the Leoya's lives for the past two months. Demonstrations like that, marches, rallies, protests have been a huge thing. They've been reliving that April 4th morning for more than 60 days. Now today, Peter Leoya, Patrick's father, said he finally felt a little bit of relief. As long as this process has been for his family, for all of them, rewatching that video of Patrick's killing, they say that that video has made this fight for justice possible. I know this process that we have gone through right now. We are not going to be getting here without the video. Because everything that we are talking right now about is because of the video that gave us the strength and the power. The video gave us the strength. We could not go talk before the judge, the lawyer, uh, and say how they killed Patrick without the video. Now, this morning, or actually rather this afternoon, excuse me, right before those charges were announced at about 2.55, Peter got a call from Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker with those charges. He said that the conversation did not last more than two minutes. It was very quick, but he said it did give him that little bit of relief, and it was not what he was expecting. He said this morning he woke up and he expected to be heartbroken. Live in Detroit, I'm Justin Bachman, 13 on your side.